Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all of my recommendations for the upcoming Sephora Beauty Insider VIB sale, whatever title they're gonna slap on it this year, that is going to be happening soon, if it isn't already. And I'm saying that because I'm kind of pre-filming this before I have the dates and the information. So I'm going to link below an entire playlist of basically the past five years of my wish list hauls, recommendations for both the spring and fall sales. So there's just, it's gonna be jam-packed in that playlist with all kinds of recommendations. But today, I wanna focus on some always things that I recommend, but I really wanna include some newer products that I've tried within the past six months that I definitely recommend you try. Also, if you haven't seen my wish list video for this sale, this current sale, I'm gonna link that below as well and put it in a card. You might wanna take a gander at that, just to kinda see what I'm wishing for. So I am gonna start with skincare and we're gonna speak very quickly. I am gonna speak very quickly about each one of these items. I'm not gonna delve into a lot of details about each specific thing. Just know these, all these things are part of my hardcore skincare routine. They have been repurchased. These are items I love and use. And if you want more information about these, I have a lot of videos about each product. I've mentioned all these before. So if you're new, check out my skincare playlist. Just kind of take a gander around my channel, prior um, recommendations videos, because I have talked them to death, but I just want to breeze through them so that this video isn't really long. So every morning and evening, and quite frankly, just in between, I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This particular one, they now make in a full size, and I'm recommending this flavor. Now I do like the other ones, and I have other ones, but this is the Vanilla. I love this. I like that this is a, It's it says it's a mask, but it's basically like a glorified chopstick in a pot form. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. It's very um, lovely on the lips. It smells amazing. It's like a true blue uh, vanilla. It's not a artificial perfumey one. It's just really lovely. I keep a pot of this next to my bedside table, in my makeup drawer, underneath my bathroom sink. I carry one with me in my car and in my purse. To go along with that, uh, the Elginus Liquid Collagen Lip. Recently talked about this in a favorites. I've talked about this a lot since I bought it last um, year. I really think that this helps with my lip line, plump it up. It's a product that I find really helps plump up my lip line. I know that it works because I have a scar, a chicken pox scar on my lip, and whenever I apply this, I let it sit on there for a little bit, and when I, by the time I go to put on my lip product, that line, that little divot is plumped up. So love this. A way cheaper way to get a little bit of uh, filler appearance. Now it's not gonna be, you know, permanent, well not semi-permanent like fillers, but it's a, a lot cheaper alternative. My hardcore moisturizer, I buy one of these every time there is a sale. The Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, it's just my favorite moisturizer. I've gone back to this time and time again, really love it at nighttime. I've been using it during the daytime right now just because I've had drier skin. They have uh, its counterpart, which is the Aqua Balm, which is formulated for more combination oily skin, or even if you have normal skin that acts to a little bit more oily in the humidity in the summer, but I love this. My skin feels hydrated, supple, plump, um, definitely preps the skin beautifully for makeup and so highly recommend that. I highly recommend this all so I'm not gonna keep saying that, <laughs> hopefully. A cleanser. This is the Ren Evercalm Gentle Cleansing Milk. Love this cleanser. If you have sensitive, acne prone, or just, my skin's sensitive I would say. Um, this is wonderful. I don't know why I'm twisting it. It's a cruelty free brand. It's uh, free of a lot of synthetic things, fragrance, silicones. There's a whole list of what is not in here. Basically, I love this because it doesn't strip my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. I love a cream cleanser, especially in the morning um, or even after I've had makeup on all day. Like, I still want to take care of my skin without having to strip it down, you know. Um, love that it has a pump. It's just really easy and convenient to work with here, so recommend that. Dang it, I wasn't gonna say that, and I just did. All right, this. This is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. Long word for a toner. <laughs> I like this as a toner. It's very hydrating. Um, I love how it smells. It smells like black tea. It's just very gentle. It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle here. Toners are one of those steps that after you cleanse, if the pH of your cleanser is a little bit not ideal, uh, your skin might feel really tight. You know, I remember when I was younger, I thought that that tight feeling meant it was super squeaky clean. Well, not really. It actually means that you've stripped all natural oils out of your skin now, and you're like working from less than ground zero to try to get it back to that hydrated state, which is where we want to be. 
because a lack of hydration will indeed age you because it will show all the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, but this is also, it gives you a nice radiant luminous finish after you use this. I don't think I've seen a huge difference in like wrinkles being erased, but I think that's an unrealistic expectation for a skincare product. But I do like how this prepares my skin nicely after I wash it for then the rest of my products to then, you know, seep into my skin, if you will. So next we have the Drunk Elephant uh, Retinol Cream. I don't use this as often as I know I should, but because I've really decided, well, I've always known this, but I couldn't pinpoint why my face kept breaking out until this point in which the answer is chemical sunscreen, which we'll get that get to that in a moment. Um, but I really like to be gentle to my skin now. I find if I do too much, like it's actually not productive. So for some people, sure, they can do, you know, all these steps in one situation, in one evening or in the course of a week. I can't because my skin will break out or react if I'm doing too much, you know? It's just like a simple skincare regime is what my skin benefits from the most. However, I do really like this retinol. I don't find it to be irritating. And that's actually kind of surprising because I have very sensitive skin. So this is the Reboot and Smooth 1% Retinol Clean Cutting Edge Formula that combines 1% vegan retinol with nourishing superfood rich ingredients to dramatically diminish the appearance of fine lines, deep wrinkles, and sun damage. I like this. I actually need to make a point to use this more often, but I sometimes get scared to try too many things now because I'm really enjoying having my skin not be so broken out. Um, I'm not sure if you notice, but I definitely have noticed a difference. I have written down the Belief Eye Cream here, and this is just a little sample of the Moisturizing Eye Balm. Now, <clears throat> I really like this sample, so much so that it's prompting me to at least take a deeper look into um, the eye creams that Belief offers. Because I know my friend likes the one in the green container, I think it's like peat something. Um, but this one, I think is very hydrating, I think it's lovely, it's light. Um, I like the consistency of it. Um, so I'm gonna look at this one and then compare it to that one, but I definitely recommend this one. I think it's very lovely. The Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I love this for this upcoming time of year because it's a, it's a moisturizer that packs a punch within a gel formulation. Typically a gel formulation for me is not as hydrating as say a cream type of moisturizer would be. But I like this in the summertime because it's lighter and I don't need as much hydration, but I also like that because it's so light, if I want to boost it for the day or I just, you know, I want to even use this as a nighttime situation, which for me wouldn't be enough, but you could, um, add in uh, a little bit of oil. So love this. I always recommend the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C. This is all I have left is just this little travel size. I love a vitamin C serum. It's one of those things where you don't see instant results, but it's um, from what I've gathered a kind of like a long term is when you start to see the results. It's not like instant. And I like how the vitamin C brightens my skin. I like how it looks just very hydrated and glowy and pretty that I sometimes don't even want to put makeup on because I'm like, my skin looks so pretty just with, you know, taking care of it kind of thing. So I always recommend that. Um, this sunscreen, this is what I want to talk about. So I am very, very sensitive to chemical sunscreens and that's quite frankly why my face has been broken out on my channel for the past five years. But sometimes it's hard to figure out, okay, is it what I'm using in my skincare? Okay, I'm using a hundred things. Which one is it? Is it my makeup? Are my brushes dirty? Like, am I stressed? Is it hormonal? Like, it's hard to pinpoint. But now that I've found out one reason, one of many reasons I'm sure, the chemical sunscreens are in everything all foundations for goodness sake, but this one does not break me out. This is the Drunk Elephant uh, Sheer Physical Daily Defense SPF 50 Broad Spectrum, looks like this. There is a tinted version as well. I like this, it's very hydrating. It does not leave your face white. I mean, you do need to mix it in because it is zinc oxide and zinc oxide is a physical sunscreen and it most definitely, you need to work to, to blend it in a little bit. Not this one as compared to others, like this is good, um, but you still need to work. Like, I, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, but oh, you're not gonna see the white. You will, you need to blend it in a little bit. Um, but it doesn't break me out, and um, I like it. I think it works well with makeup as well. Something I mix in with this. So on days that I'm not wearing makeup, this is my go-to combination. I love it. So this is the DeBronzy Anti-Pollution sun Sunshine Drops. Basically, this tints this. So if you didn't wanna buy the tinted uh, version, you could buy them separate. And I actually kind of prefer them separate because I like to have the control over when I apply it 
Also, I've been using this as cream bronzer and really liking that. It comes in a pump, which is also very nice. You don't have to dip your fingers into anything. This has skincare benefits in it as well. I don't know off the top of my head what those are, uh, but this is a neat little product. You can also use this to kind of bronze up your decollete too. I think no matter how fast I speak in this video, it's still gonna be a longer video, so I hope you're okay with that. I did forget to mention that I'm gonna put timestamps in the description box below. You can skip ahead if this bores you, but by now you probably already skipped, so you're not even hearing this. Um, so this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic Plus Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. Now, I like this. Um, this is supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles and what's unique about this product is that most eye creams you cannot put on your actual lid. So then I'm thinking, well, how is my lid going to not become crepey and wrinkly and age because it's not getting any treatments? This is the answer. Um, now, I've only used, a, I'm not religious about using, I'm not religious about anything. I've only used about half of this bottle so far. I just, it's just one of those things where it's like, I sometimes rush through my nighttime skincare routine and I really do think this is working in just the slightest the slightest little bit I think the true difference maker would have been if I took a before and after photo but I do think this is working and I like the unique quality of it being able to be the one product that I can actually put on the top of my lid versus an eye cream that you know you're just kind of doing below here so the TLC Frambus Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. This is a blend of AHAs and BHAs, which kind of gentle, it's a gentler way to get your BHAs into your skincare routine. A straight glycolic, which is a BHA, can be very harsh. And the AHAs are the more gentle of the chemical exfoliators. And so this is a 12% blend. I like this. It's a nice gel consistency and it, twists up like this so it keeps the product concealed and it's not exposed to air. I do like this. This is a night serum that you put on your face after you've cleansed if you're going to do the toning step. Um, and then I go in with my night serum before my moisturizer. So this is like the treatment aspect. Um, and then another option that I also like is the Tarte Knockout Tingling treat Treatment. This is strong too. This can irritate my skin too, especially if I bring like if I bring any of these treatment things down my neck or onto my chest, it irritates it and it gets red and blotchy and it breaks out. So I really can only do this on my face. Um, this has lasted me a while, but like I said, I don't do this every single day in and day out because it seems to be too much. Um, but this is a 10% acid complex and this is salicylic and lactic. Lactic is one of my favorites, but I like lactic just by itself. So if you're looking for lactic just by itself, Sunday Riley Good Jeans is a favorite of mine. So the first thing I always recommend picking up at the sale is a beauty blender. Um, I like to keep a new one every few months. I find that if, even though I wash these, I find if I don't buy a new one, my face starts to get broken out. So definitely always pick one of these up. I know it's like putting gas in your car. It's like a boring thing to buy, but you kind of need it in order to get you know, your makeup application the way you want it. And I really like a beauty blender. I, I've tried a lot of the other dupes, if you will, or, um, you know, copycats, but I find I really just like the consistency, the size, the, the pliability of the original. Ren Perfect Canvas Skin Finishing Serum. Love this as a primer. It creates a very nice, tacky, sticky base, which is why on my wish list is the Cover FX Gripping Primer, but I'm like, maybe I don't need that because I feel like this probably does that, but this is formulated especially for people with, you know, like more sensitive skin types or if your skin's easily irritated or if you're looking for a primer without silicone, this does not have silicone in it. Silicone, especially in the heat, when I'm layering on silicone plus makeup, my pores get clogged and I just find it just kind of creates a, a recipe for a serious breakout. So I love this. It's also in a dropper, and if you didn't want to do makeup one day and you just wanted a little boost of hydration, you can also use this. I have one foundation I was going to recommend just because I wear this in the summer. I haven't been able to wear this in the winter because I've been more dry, but I like this in the summer. And this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Uh, this is oil-free. It's very long-lasting, and it's like a matte, but it's not a flat, drying matte. It, almost feels very natural like a natural finish and so it keeps my oils at bay when it starts to get really hot 
and I look just like natural, I would say the finish would be. Um, and it does not have any uh, chemical sunscreens in it, so yay. Um, the Smashbox Primer Water, I love this stuff, I'm almost out. And they only have online right now the original, which I don't love the smell of, but this was the Serene Greens uh, Limited Edition from last year. Smashbox, if you find my video, <laughs> please make this again or, or like make these permanent because I love how this smells. It is alcohol free, it is silicone free, and what else? There's something else that it's free. Oh, and oil free. So I use this as a primer. I also use this to spritz my brush. I use this as a makeup refresher. I use this as like a setting spray just after I powdered and everything. I really like this situation. This is a fun little product, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't put this all over my whole face. I've done that in the past and I just found that it made me look super greasy. It was just too much glow everywhere. Like I like to control the glow or at least contain it in the areas that are the most flattering for me. And so I like to use this as a cream highlighter. Um, it's pretty in your decollete too, but it's just a really pretty pr product. And when you swatch it on your hand, it just is like, it really does create a youthful glow. Just a very beautiful glow. Not sparkly or artificial or overdone. It's just very gorgeous. I have shade two. So I have a concealer in here that I've been using and enjoying. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is full coverage. There is a large shade range in this. And I have the shade N Light 1, which actually might be a little bit light for me now that we head into summer here. But if you're looking for something with full coverage, very pigmented within a small amount, like I don't go ham with this. I do a tiny little bit here and there, and honestly, a lot of the days, let me just situate here, I have been skipping concealer because um, as you age, and you won't find this out until it happens, you know, like little fine lines start to happen around here, like my face is lived in. Um, it's not like what it used to be. And so if I do too much concealer or too much powder, it just ages you worse, like, because it makes you look dry or cakey or just, like I want people to look at me. I don't want people to be noticing, you know, dry, cakey under eyes. Um, so anyways, full coverage though. Another, okay, these are products I've used for years and I just recently have been digging them out and using them. I don't know, things get lost in the shuffle, right? And you know, you get on a kick of like a routine or maybe something happens one day and you write the product off, but it wasn't the product's fault. Maybe it was a combination of things. Uh, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I've been smushing this all over my face when I'm done with my makeup. And it's not something that uh, can translate through this lens. It's something that when you look in your car mirror, which doesn't lie, it tells you all truth. Or if you're sitting out in broad daylight and you open up a compact and you take a look at your skin, this is one of those things where your skin just looks so pretty. It's just like a subtle pretty. And I am all about that subtle pretty. Like, you don't have to wear something loud, you know, to make a big difference. Like, just something so soft and quiet and elegant and feminine that would be these powders this is the mood light one by the way which helps cancel redness speaking of understated absolute perfection in a highlighter laura mercier that's not the one it is laura mercier though excuse me <clears throat> my voice is going already i haven't been talking that long is it okay where is it okay this is it looks exactly like this <laughs> but the laura mercier matte baked radiance highlighter this is a bronzer i do like this this is the uh, ritual bronzer but it looks exactly like this love that highlighter that highlighter i recommend whenever we're talking like um photos like family photos or wedding day photos because the glow that you get is stunning it's never going to be chunky or something you have to work to blend in. It's just, it's so beautiful. I even think, you know, if you're younger, maybe you're a teenager and you're just starting out with makeup and you want to get a highlighter that really is just going to emphasize you and your skin and just make you feel and look really pretty, okay? And not be like, wow, look at her banging highlighter. You're just going to be like, wow, her skin's so pretty, that highlighter. Another one that I really like is the Dior. Kind of the same thing, but this one is more intense in the fact that it's more wet. Now this is a big gelée formula. This is shade 002. Oh, I love this one. Very pretty. This comes in lots of colors. So this might not be a good color for you. It's a good color for me. Um, 
I just really like it. I like, once again, I like those understated highlighters because I don't want something to jump off my face with sparkle or look patchy or just be too much. Like, I want to draw attention in a good way. This powder I'm really, really liking. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I have shade one. This also comes in a variety of shades. Basically, you can set your whole face and not see a speck of powder. And I love that because my face is set and I don't look dry and cakey. And this also works really well for like touching up because you can't see the product going on, but you can see the difference it's providing, which is fantastic. Charlotte Tilbury's products of everything I've tried so far, so beautiful, so well done, so elegant. You know, and nothing that I've tried so far is like makeup y to me. If anything, it's like products to make you feel really just your best, you know, without seeing the makeup going on. Does that make sense? Okay, let's talk about some blushes while we're on that same wavelength. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. So I wasn't going to recommend these just because they're so stinking expensive. And I've been wearing them lately just because I'm like, okay, I... I don't know how I feel, like I haven't used these in a while, and so I've been using them, and I've been wearing them, I'm like, mm, I do like these, <laughs> but they're kind of spendy for, I mean, they're up there with Chanel pricing. So this is the Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher. This particular one is kind of interesting. This shade is called the Climax, and this is one of those uh, summer, definite summer blushes because it gives a very bronzed effect to the cheeks. So you're going to want to put this towards the back of your cheeks and then pop this peach on the apple. And that's the whole concept with her blushes. You could also swirl them together. But if you have fair skin or lighter skin, if you only do this color, you might end up looking like with brown cheeks. Like you're going to go past the bronze look into like brown cheeks. And so that's why I like the pop of the peach. So like the color is here, but the depth and the contour is kind of back there. So this one is pretty. The other one that maybe more people would like is called Ecstasy. And this one's like a peachy pink, which is beautiful. I didn't swatch the other one, I'm sorry. I've like really slacked on swatching just because I feel like, I don't know, swatching you can see the color of my skin tone, but what good is that gonna do for you? Also, when you apply a product, you know, you're not applying it like a swatch, but I guess, anyways. So, that is what that looks like. It's more of like a peachy pink. So I like those blushes, I really do. I just, I've forgotten how much I enjoyed them, but you know, that's why you gotta dig things back out and play with them. I always recommend these. These have been, I, maybe, I would have to go back and look, but I darn near say every single recommendations video for the sale up to this point, since I purchased these, they have appeared in every single one. And it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I'm wearing this one today. This is Diffused Heat. They are, I uh, almost said caramelized. That, that's a good word. Um, they are marbled with their ambient lighting powders. So the concept is you're going to get the color, right? Um, but they basically, in a nutshell, create a diffused light look on the cheek so it gives like a nice glow nice healthy glow so this one is the color i have on today diffused heat it's a beautiful coral color um this is mood exposure this is a really interesting color actually i think i just shared this in a favorites too it's like a, a hint of mauve but in a nude way it's so good it's so good it's like a go-to on the daily kind of situation so these blushes will never look blushy they will never look fake. They will always look like they're coming from within your skin. They're just easy to work with. You can't screw them up. I highly recommend those. This is NARS Impassioned. This is the most recent blush that I bought. Recent being, I think, December. Um, this is a nice pastel pale matte blush. This is one of those um, blushes where you're going to need to build it up a little bit, but I like that. I actually prefer that way more than something you go to dip your brush in and it's like whoa whoa and, ugh, i'm turned off by those honestly so this is what it looks like look how pretty that is so soft elegant oh such a quiet elegance about this i love that quiet elegance that's what i'm gonna call it a quiet elegance in a makeup product i love it i i, I just i like things that emphasize me instead of like i don't want the makeup to wear me i want to wear the makeup you know eyeshadows 
that's where we're at. And I'm definitely recommending this nice one, next one, because it's nice. And it's one of my, it's my favorite Tom Ford one. That's not one of my favorites. It is my favorite. It's New Dip. During the sale is a good time to pick these up because they're expensive, too expensive. I feel so pretty in this. It is elegant. It is all like his baked gelée uh, colors. The, the lid shades are stunning. I recently wore this. I've done looks with this. There's nothing amazing about the formula, okay? It's the color. This just makes me feel pretty. I just love my makeup look when I'm wearing that. This is the palette I am wearing today. This is the Sultry Palette by Anastasia. I really like this palette. I like the lid shades that are in here. There's quite a few uh, lid shades. I do have a, uh, one or two looks that I created wearing this. That's what she looks like. Just a nice, you can see all this though. Okay, I'm going to tell you, do your eyes first because there's a whole lot of uh, glitter and stuff. And I did wet my brush when applying the more chunkier glitter shades. But if you don't, if you, you know, that doesn't bother you, just do your eyes first and then go in because I really like the effect. Can we see? The effect of these, maybe I should get, oh, I hate doing this. My face gets like huge on TVs. Um, the effect of the sparkly colors on my lid. I don't like to be that close because when I have my video or it pops up on this TV, I'm like, that is not a good look. Chelsea is not meant to be like this big. The last palette that I'm going to talk about, I'm kind of sticking to uh, like newer palettes. I mean, I have old things that I love, right? But maybe you can't buy them anymore. So I wanted to stick with some palettes that are newer to me, like within the past six months. Yeah, these two are within the past six months. This is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Now, if you don't like gold lid shades, like this is not the palette for you. Um, but I think it's beautiful and it's a good summery palette too because of all the warm bronzes and golds. And I mean, it's not just that. You got some pretty blues in here and this is like a fun color. It's actually more sheer. It's not green like that. So that's the thing about these is some might look scary, but then you go to swatch it. It's not full on opacity. They're more of like a topper, like a lid topper, like finish off the look kind of thing. So this is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. I like this formula, so I'm recommending it to you. I went to uh, look up this color after I shared it in a pre previous video here recently, and it looks like this was a limited edition color. So never mind the color, but the formula is so good. You guys, it is so windy. I love it. My curtains are blowing and my plants are blowing and my chimes are going. It's like, ugh, oh, perfect. I'm going to go have lunch out on that porch when I'm finished here. Anyways, velvety, smooth, opaque, glides on as the name implies, not sticky or tacky. They have some really pretty colors, so check out those. Um, I recommend the... <laughs> I recommend this in every video too, but the Dior Lip Addicts, they just recently relaunched all of the Dior Addicts and there's some beautiful, beautiful colors in there that are on my wish list. This particular one is from their lacquer, Dior Addict lacquer line. So this one's just, basically the difference is these are a little bit more opaque, a little bit more intense. I'm kind of intense sometimes, but I love this color. This is Turn Me Dior. It's like a beautiful raspberry red. Ugh. I just love the packaging. I love the, the shininess that you get. Your lips just feel really soft. Not soft. That's the wrong word. Shiny. They are shiny. They are glossy. That's not a matte situation. I don't really like matte stuff that much. I just feel like it makes you look old. Um... I want to share two of my all-time favorite colors. Like, uh, if I, which I have done, but I should do an updated version of my top lipsticks, these two would be included. Um, these are two of my favorite colors by Tom Ford. Also a great time to pick up one of his lipsticks when you can get it on sale. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. First color here is called Showgirl. This is a beautiful, actually move this here, beautiful fuchsia pink, blue undertoned, uh, Makes your teeth look whiter, fuchsia pink. Let me swatch it. Oh, so good. So good. And then the other one, can you guess? Cherry Lush. One of my favorite reds. And at this time of year, I'm all about those bold colors because I go very minimal on 
And honestly, yesterday, minimal as in nothing. <laughs> and I just had on a bold lip and that's it. I didn't do brows, I didn't do any of that jazz. I just put on a lip and I actually, if you got, you know, sunglasses on and a cute outfit, you got a bold lip on, that's really all you need. I mean, it pulls the outfit together and you can skip an hour at the makeup table, which I'm all for in the summer. Um, but that's Cherry Lush, another absolute favorite. And last, we have some glosses. So one formula I'm gonna recommend is the Huda Beauty. These lip strobes are so fun. The finishes are all different. They're all very like, adds dimension and just so much coolness. Not coolness like temperature, but coolness as in like, oh wow, her lips look awesome. And I have three colors. The top one here is mystical. It's like this purpley, iridescent, shifty kind of cool color. Um, this middle one is angelic which is a good, more like nude one. And this bottom one is, is it called Shameless? Snobby, beautiful pink. This one's got some like cool foil activity going on. So those are fun. And then the last formulation in a gloss is the Buxom. I love the Buxom lip gloss. It's a little cool, minty tingle, nothing crazy. A little lip plump in action going on. Three of my favorite colors. This is Hot Toddy, like a beautiful rosy, Rosy, nude kind of, really pretty. Love this color, Cherry Flip. Would match my dress and my whole look today. This is the cream, so there's like a cream formula, which I think this one's a cream too, and then there's more like these sparkle ones. Uh, this is Buxom Celeste. This is just a gorgeous um, topper to a lipstick. It's like a peachy, peachy one. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, and you know what? Maybe you hate those colors, maybe you love them. Um, they have like over a hundred colors to choose from, so I'm sure you can find something that suits what you're looking for. Okay guys, that is everything that I'm recommending, thank goodness, because I try to keep this list short, but I can see by my timer here that it is already very much long. Check out all of my other videos from, you know, just a few months ago at those recommendations videos. Just check out the playlist because it is jam-packed with even more things if you're looking for more things to try. Or maybe you're looking for a specific item or a specific type of product. Maybe I have something that I'm recommending that would fit what you're looking for. So check those out. Please subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here. And I will chat with you guys very soon. Happy shopping. Bye, guys.